Hey guys, this is Eric. I'm doing my yearly recap on Instagram today. So I started with something from my last video of 2019, and here we go. Oh, sound maybe? All right, so this is my uh, top 10 posts of 2019 um, video that I put together last year. So a little different this year, but those are some of my favorite. This uh, list is all arbitrary, too. I don't look at data at all. It's just my favorite. Oh, yeah, classic. So that, I guess, was my last show, because I didn't do any shows in 2020. Nice. OK. This was for World Juggling Day last year. Pretty fun. Hooah. Yeah, so um, I guess, and that's the loop, so it didn't quite finish, but we'll move on. So this will be um, my second post of 2020. So that's actually what this video is about. I, you know, there's a filter on this, but I think it looks pretty good. So I've been using that as a profile pic for a little bit. Yeah, and here's my first video. Pretty simple um, at the shop. I just sort of hand have these uh, by my desk and pull them out when I get bored at work. Um, just try to keep some juggling throughout the day. Um, so pretty simple. This one was the one that I had in my mind as the first video I did in 2020. Um, but this is the old stomping grounds um, where I used to run juggling clubs. So I was just walking past because um, I was living in the same town as my university. So um, pretty quick, just five ball. Um, yeah, quite warm at this point. Um, I think I was listening to music and dancing. So pretty fun fun memories. So I really liked that video. And then I broke my wrist. So this is my first video. So you'll kind of see the break. This is like in April. So kind of broke my wrist, had surgery, um, really wasn't doing juggling videos a lot. Um, but I decided to um, just shoot one to kind of say, push myself, see what I can do with a broken wrist. Um, this one's pretty simple, um, some classic apple juggling. That was my first um, time I really thought of myself as a juggler was when I did like an apple juggling bit for a talent show. So that's always fun, even though it's kind of, you know, really snooty jugglers are like, eh, you know. It's essentially just looks way harder than it actually is. Okay, that, that is pretty hard. Uh, moving on, and this was from a shoot I did at the end of 2019. Um, so that was one of the best pictures. Juggling, uh, photographing juggling is kind of tough stuff. So um, it's a lot easier when it's like something very static and picturesque. Like look at that posture line straight all the way out, good stuff. And speaking of balancing, this is um, when I finally finished my balance stick. So this started out as three feet long, and then you chop off a half inch every time you can balance for two minutes without moving your feet. So that's what this is. Yes, it essentially looks like that for two minutes. Um, so I just kind of did this on live stream and then um, saved it. So reviewed the footage, and it worked. It was 2 minutes and 20 seconds of balancing. So um, I haven't really practiced this much since. So oh well, you know, you kind of have to keep working. And then this is into May. So I was still um, not being able to bear any weight on my wrist. So this is kind of a, a trick I've practiced before, where you pick up a ball off, off the ground um, from a cartwheel. So you know, just at this point, I was kind of getting antsy about not really having that range of motion or ability to be super active. So I was just trying to 
make it into a game and see what it could uh, lead into. So then I decided, well, so that balance video was May 1st, so I decided to keep it rolling, so this is May 2nd, and then I decided this was really when I was gonna, okay, I'm gonna go every single day this month. So if you're wondering how long this, this video of me reviewing everything is, uh, it's a little longer, okay, nice, little elbow stall. That's one of the things I can work on with a broken wrist. So um, a lot of these videos are gonna be, what can I do with only one hand? Um, oh yeah. Hope the music is coming through a little. It's kind of like that. That's where the 80s montage comes in. Boom, boom. So working with three in one hand, you know, trying to get my get my Rocky on in challenging circumstances. All right, jazz. Okay, well that's enough of that. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. I worked on my legs a little bit, trying to do a lot of balance stuff. So that's a pistol squat. This is at, at the shop at work. Um, yeah, trying to not get addicted to coffee too much. Oh, okay. I really am proud of this one, and I don't know if I could have repeated it. <laughs> there it is. Wow. I, I'm just going to watch that again. So I was surprised, but um, this is, you know, a nice Iowa cornfield here. So this would be right after work, and it's just such a clean footstall. Those are kind of my nice shoes. So I impressed myself there. Very proud of that one. This one, yeah, nice and short, slow mo, boom. So just trying to find tricks that I can, I really haven't worked on this since I got it, you know, May 7th, you know, seven months ago, but pretty cool. Worked on that for a couple hours, one night after work. Okay, here we go. Some quick juggling in the park. Um, couple under the legs. Oh boy, is something gonna happen? The music's picking up. Oh, uh, uh. I don't know. Um, so when you're posting everything, ooh, little juggling Josh action. That's my swish. This is probably like 20 attempts, probably. Oh, there's even some slider. A couple more attempts. Yeah, so Josh Horton's one of my favorite guys to follow on YouTube juggler, and he does basketball stuff too. So that's a signature. Look at how close I am. Wow. And yeah, deflated ball, and <laughs> there we go. That's how it goes a lot of the time. All right, um, I think this was on a Sunday, if I remember right. May 10th, um, don't really have those shoes anymore. Okay, yeah, um, still no right hand, but just trying to keep it fun. I think this was one of my first TikTok videos too. Yes, my favorite Not The King song. All right, here we go, neck throws. I, this was way easier to get than I thought it would be, and I don't know if I really got it, but just trying to find you know some one-arm tricks I can learn and do. Oh yeah, so I was working on balance. So this is also at work, so you know, just trying to um, increase, there's kind of like you know one standing on one leg, then there's standing on one leg, and then you stand on one leg with your eyes closed, and then you do up on the ball of your foot, and you know, just trying to, you know, get stronger base there um, for acrobatics, and, you know, it probably helps juggling, too. How can I hurt, you know? Balance, good stuff. 
Um, so we're about halfway through the month, recreating this um, egg on the spoon catch that I did, uh, one of my first Instagram videos, um, where I every time I've tried it since, it really does not go so great. Um, I don't, I forget if this is a fail video. Okay, swipe to see trick creation process. So this is like probably even more nerve wracking than, I don't know, like I haven't ever figured out what makes the egg not slip off the spoon. <laughs> but, you know, soft hands. Oh. Yeah, like my heart rate is going up just watching this. So, you know, it's just an egg. I eat eggs. I'd have eaten it if it broke, probably. You know, scrape it off the floor and throw it in a little dish and <laughs> eat it. But okay, are we done yet? Um, oh, okay. Nice. Okay, that's enough of that. Mm, I think this is just a pretty simple one. Bum. This is one of the things I was working on. Multiplex up into a into an elbow catch. And I thought that I could learn this ring spinning trick with my left hand, but it turns out that I couldn't because it's kind of hard. But yeah, my friend Erica Little showed me that um, in a curling club, and I have not ever gotten it with my left hand still to this day. Okay, can I juggle torches with one hand? Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, learning some club balances, nice. So still experimenting, you know, that one arm stuff. Okay, foot catch. These are my super, super soft bean bags. Um, blind clippers, so um, very easy to do multiplex and install stuff. Whoa, little, little wild on that. Pretty much all these tricks, you know, if I really worked on them, I could kind of clean them up. So part of the things, you know, I kind of got this vision of eventually having a lot of control, but I'm kind of a just pushing a lot of weird stuff at the moment. Um, you know, I'm kind of figuring out some early career changes this year and next year, so I'm hoping to really set up a, a nice training schedule where I can practice a lot of this stuff and not really necessarily be learning six and one <laughs> with yams. <laughs> nice. Oh, but this is so much fun, you know. You never know if you can get it. Um, nice. Learned uh, some club balancing at Club Fest. There's that one that I did earlier. Yeah, some fun manipulations. And that was like my first online juggling convention. So actually, I just realized I didn't test my mic before I shot this video. So this could be 13 minutes of no sound. OK, this, I believe, is a, in general failure. I was wanted to see if I could juggle with one arm and drink with the other, and I could not at all. <laughs> so you know, just uh, maybe I should have started with one. You know, so here's an example where I probably shouldn't have tried three at once. You know, Start small. That's what I um, tell my students, but you know who's got time for that when you're just trying to shoot a 30-second Instagram video because you've promised to do one every single day. OK, um, got my rugby shorts on, so sorry about that. But you know, at this point, I don't really care. I'm just trying to get one video a day and show what I'm, I'm practicing on. That's a, yeah, um, Dale's correct. I did see that on Wes Peden's ice cream video. Can definitely recommend watching Wes Peden. Okay, some. Uh, oh yes, yeah, so this is my first video where I 
um, jammed my thumb on my left hand, so I'm like double wrist braced. So now I'm like, what can I do with no hands? <laughs> so, uh, man, 2020, am I right? Okay, um, so here's another trick that I can do with no hands. <laughs> um, just, just working on stalls, you know, trying to get creative. Okay, what do we got? May 28th. I think May is the only month I shot a video every day. I might have to run through these faster, so pretty simple balance. Okay, nice. Got my mask on. I really, I think that's a very pretty mask. I like it. Um, but I'm getting, s okay, so maybe I did practice. Um, okay, that is my left, so you can see my left just doesn't have that control yet. All right, nice, here we go. Last video in May. What, does May have 30? 31 months. This is probably one of my favorites. Like if I was going through looking for 10, this would make my top 10, I think. Uh, maybe I will after this video. This is kind of my research process. I just watch everything, remember, and then, you know, really it's just personal preference. Like, you know, I know how much effort I put into different things and, oh yeah, like it's just, I don't know, I really like that foot up to your neck um, action. I think that's really fun. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so now we're into August, so I took a big break. Yeah, this was when I started kind of watching the news more and getting a little more stressed out. And so I kind of took a break. And, you know, this is pretty impulse video. This is probably like first take, maybe second take. If I, I don't know, I might have dropped the scissors on the first take. But, yeah, you know, the framing's kind of horrid, but everybody loves. Everybody loves, you know, things that appear to be dangerous. And maybe it is dangerous. Who knows? Okay. Nice. And then I think in August there's a lot of food-related videos. As I'm kind of getting back into the more regular video posts. So, yeah. Pretty fun. Um, someone sent me a video of someone with two pans juggling three. So I think that's what inspired this. Um, and I was just making food anyway, late at night. Okay, lemons. Do, do, do. I bought these solely for juggling, and I only ate one of them, and the other two like shriveled up. So it do be that way sometimes. <laughs> Lemon juggling. Okay. Oh, this was at uh, rehearsal for play I was helping out backstage I was like the only backstage guy so it was that was a lot of fun to be back in the game because my community theater play I was cast in kind of got canceled um, so this would be September it was like a four-person play so they could they could do a lot more distancing and regulation and perform so that was fun just in the parking lot there um, yeah, juggling some food, eating smoothies, good stuff, pretty simple. Um, this was, I finally recycled all the glass that I've been hoarding for the last two years. And yeah, just empty wine bottles. Oh, yes, this one might make a... Uh, Top 10. Bam. That's a redo of my favorite donut juggling video of 2018. Dun, 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 dun. And here it is again. So this is, I think, the previous one was like a stories, and this is 
the full video I edited. That uh, Mills Mass. Okay, what's he gonna do? He's gonna eat it. Is he gonna eat it? When's he gonna eat it? Okay, one video, one donut. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. This this one was mildly stressful to watch though. There's the little cream that flew out. Nice. Ooh, trying some new stuff. I think that's the same exact same clip. So, you know, I like it. It's kind of fun. Nice. That's probably makes my top ten too. Uh, what's up right here? Oh yeah, I learned how to do a Rubik's cube this year. Um, started in January. I think I got it under two minutes by March. Kind of working in breaks at work and such. Okay, so this actually five eggs is less stressful than catching an egg on a spoon. Um, but as you kind of heard, <laughs> they do crack slightly just because it's very hard to catch them. So, ooh. Nice. That's my, my TikTok profile video. Mom Spaghetti, Josh Horton merch. Um, where are we at? September. So I'm posting pretty regularly. Um, a little coordination, choreography. Well, I'm doing some meal prep. Bonus. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. So update. I'm kind of back to, like you can see, I've got a brace on my right hand. But I'm essentially into weight bearing here, and I'm just working on I think uh, August through September, I was sort of doing physical therapy, um, OT stuff, so get my range of motion back. So this is probably my my only big club juggling session in the second half of 2020. I didn't really do big, big numbers. Um, nice. Here's a little announcement that I have the music feature on Instagram so I can do all the reels and stuff. So Instagram reels was pretty fun and it really helped me uh, do more TikToks as well. So um, nice, here we go. Some classic um, juggling action. So this is my birthday, 10-7. Nice. I did drop these a couple times in the leaves before this, but you know, it's just for Instagram, so you know, clip the one that looks good. And I do s share some fails too. So this would be like a reel. Ooh, ah. Nice. Trying to come up with like something super punchy. Whoosh. So yeah, I've done that with uh, three balls before. And with five, you know, it's pretty much the same deal. Ideally, I'd be up in time to get back to a five ball cascade. So that's my next step, but I kind of went to the multiplex. Okay, more donuts. This is kind of a redo of my five mini donut juggling video from 2018 as well. Um, the high throw catch. This is essentially the same deal. Um, same jacket too, I think. I'll have to do a comparison eventually. Nice, Nubby J. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum. So yeah, just getting into reels, trying to find some music that's fun to juggle to. I guess it's like the same day. I might have shot this one before because then I took my sweatshirt off. <laughs> So yeah, just open up, make the gap, fill it with a little hair swish. It's all about patterns. <laughs> just trying some like voiceover stuff, yeah. Pretty quick. Here I'm just thinking like, yeah, you know, just keep shooting some videos. 
Yeah, so I'm still kind of rough around the edges for sure, not spending a lot of time on these. I kind of like that ending. Kind of these on the knees, inside, you know, low production value, but. Nice. Yeah, so you can probably tell I'm using a lot more um, music. So that was that felt fun. I was kind of walking on air a little bit. But really, look at that horrible shoulder alignment. Like I'm bending my elbows. I have to balance by using, uh, yeah. Nice. This guy's fun, juggling to rhythms of comedy. Good stuff. Whoa! Yeah, lots of energy. <laughs> I might actually practice that one. I kind of like the idea, like I need a lot more space to just go for it. So, kind of the story of Instagram Reels. Nice, juggling some cans, getting back into the, oh yeah, so that's, that's to get back into frame, whoops. And you can see my little awful goatee going on. Um, I wanted to end 2020 strong, so that we're kind of getting to the end a little bit. I learned that um, botulism is like potentially deadly, but quite rare, so yeah, good stuff. Don't necessarily always eat cans of food with dents because bacteria can grow. Mm, might be in the day, little night wish. One of my favorite musics. Mm, trying to get super artsy, but you know, takes a little bit. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so a lot of this is trying to find uh trying to find some ideas. Some ideas of what to do with uh what I've got in the in the room there. Yeah, so just um, essentially more prop manipulation type ideas. Um, you know, trying to get that, I was kind of in an, like an artsy mood. I think, yeah, I'd love to be a super technical juggler, but it takes a lot of work. And, you know, I'm a dancer, so I've got some skills. Nice, challenging. Just trying to find some ideas. We're getting to that very, very close because I didn't really post anything in December. More donuts, classic. I might have to cut down on the donut eating. Pretty classic donut juggling. This one might make it to the top 10. I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. More reels. Juggling. End of the leg. Some groundwork here. Whoa. Nice. And that's it. So awesome, about 30 minutes to watch through all those videos is pretty fun, fun year for juggling. I think, you know, if you're going to pick a year to break your wrist and you can't do a lot of stuff for, you know, six months or so, might as well do it while there's also a, a worldwide pandemic. Um, so that you can, you know, see it as like a challenge rather than something that's being forced on you. But 
great year. I might summarize this a little later, but thanks so much for watching. This is Eric, signing off.